This is an absolutely fantastic and unbelievable privilege for Butler Hospital to be hosting our entire congressional delegation with us today. Senator Jack Reed, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, Representative Patrick Kennedy, and Representative Jim Langevin. Uh, we're equally in their debt for the fantastic support they've been able to get us for our Alzheimer's research here. And we have our uh, premier researcher, Dr. Stephen Salloway, and Mr. James Burdick with us to tell us a little bit about how this will actually affect the people of the state of Rhode Island for the better. The uh, delegation's vision and leadership in getting us this $200,000 federal appropriations grant is absolutely amazing. And this grant will be combined with donations that the hospital received from two other great sources, the Champlin Foundation and the John and Happy White Foundation. Together, the total is about half a million dollars, and it will be used to make a two-pronged effort to help us improve our research in the area of uh, brain disease. As a major brain science research and teaching hospital, Butler is dedicated to identifying the causes of Alzheimer's and other brain-based illnesses and being innovative in providing the treatment. And what this will do especially is help us with those innovative treatment. We're very grateful for the support we have received from the community and from the entire delegation. At this time, I'd like to invite Senator Jack Reed, who, as a member of the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee on Labor, Health, and Human Services and Education, was really a driving force behind this appropriation. Please, would you like to come up, Senator Reed? Thank you. Uh, I'm delighted to be here with my colleagues, uh, Senator Whitehouse, Congressman Kennedy, and Con Congressman Landrin, and I want to recognize Dr. Salloway and the Burdicks. Thank you for joining us for your research, doctor, and for your uh, comments going forward. Thank you. And Pat, thank you for your leadership here. Uh, we're delighted to be able to announce this $200,000 grant. Uh, this was a collaborative effort. Uh, we're very fortunate. I'm very fortunate to have colleagues that are so uh, involved, engaged, and effective in the legislative process in Washington. Senator Webb. Pat has uh, indicated that Alzheimer's is a growing uh, diagnosis. Uh, the good news is we're living longer. Uh, the less good news is there's a 50 percent chance you could get Alzheimer's if you live to 85. 5.2 million Americans have been diagnosed. 25,000 Rhode Islanders have been diagnosed. And so this is something that's very important, not only in terms of efficacious care to people, but also in terms of providing cost-effective and efficient care uh, to our population. Uh, Butler is a leader in these issues, and because of their leadership, it was uh, easy uh, to get the support because they recognize in Washington the, the national and international leadership that Butler is playing. I'd next like to invite Senator Whitehouse to come up and say a few words. So it's a wonderful delegation, and everybody worked hard to get this done, and I'm proud to be a part of it. And as we look not back or around us, but forward, we see really astonishing uh, estimates of what the cost of Alzheimer's will be for our healthcare system and for our population and for our country if we don't do a better job of treating, preventing, and diagnosing it. And so uh, this is really important work. And what you all are accomplishing here at Butler and what the new facility will allow you to expand upon is really vitally important. It's vitally important for all the families who have to carry such an extraordinary burden of caregiving for loved ones who suffer from this illness, and it's incredibly important for uh, the patients and for uh, all of us who are seeing this as a growing public health crisis in our nation. So I'm very honored to join my colleagues in the delegation in supporting this in my relatively smaller role. So thank you all very much. And thank you, Senator. Next, I'd like to invite up Congressman Kennedy. Um, he needs no introduction to this room. Well, thank you very much, Pat, and uh, thank you all here at Butler for putting Butler and Rhode Island on the map here in the United States for being really a center of excellence in the treatment of Alzheimer's, but in the treatment of mental health in general. Uh, one of the great uh, advances in this health bill is that we have provision for the designation of centers of excellence in mental health. And what we're working on now is appropriate dollars to put behind that so that we can begin to do in mental health what we did in cancer. 
with the National Cancer Institutes, where we begin to have evidence-based research centers for various neuro, um, neurological illnesses. It's about time. The fact of the matter is everybody's got to stay in everyone else's work and research in this area. That's what we have to understand. And Pat has been the leader in neuroscience on the national level. You don't probably recognize it because you just see her around here. I see her lead the effort nationwide in advocacy. I'd like to invite Congressman Langevin to say a few words. He was so attentive and so receptive to this project when we went down to Washington. It was absolutely unbelievable. It was the best way that we had to end our day, and I want to thank him for the efforts in uh, putting these together for us. I am really honored and, and thrilled to, uh, to be here with my, my colleagues in announcing this, uh, this outstanding uh, grant uh, for, at, uh, here at Butler Hospital that I know is going to benefit uh, so many people. In, uh, and, and the great work that, uh, that you're doing here and will continue uh, to do. This, this latest effort and this $200,000 uh, here for Butler Hospital for Alzheimer's uh, uh, research and, uh, and early diagnosis and, and treatment uh, will obviously go a long way in helping so many people that are afflicted uh, with, uh, with this disease. Obviously these investments not only spur uh, economic activity, but they also advance uh, research and development while providing, again, better healthcare education and other uh, important social services uh, to our communities. Now, uh, I just want to recognize the, the work that uh, the Dr. Salloway uh, is doing here at, uh, at Butler Hospital. You're a team, and uh, the people that are, that are in this room have really made Butler Hospital a world-class uh, institution. And uh, clearly it's being recognized by our appropriators in, uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, your, your leadership uh, in advancing uh, the, uh, the diagnosis and treatment of Alzheimer's disease uh, obviously uh, will provide uh, uh, quality top-notch uh, care for, for all that are suffering from, uh, from this condition. We thank you for your, your great work. Thank you, Congressman Langevin, and thank you all for the very kind words about the hospital and the work we're doing. Uh, we'll get a little glimpse of that now from our premier researcher, Dr. Salloway, who's going to tell us a little bit about how this money will be applied. We're really so pleased that um, our Rhode Island delegation in Congress uh, recognizes the urgent need that Alzheimer's disease uh, poses and, uh, and supports the work that we're doing here and that's going on in Rhode Island to help meet the challenge of Alzheimer's disease. Here's how we're going to fight Alzheimer's disease. The dementia phase of Alzheimer's is really a late stage of the illness. So Alzheimer's begins in the brain with accumulation of proteins like amyloid protein and tau protein uh, many years in most people before the symptoms really become a problem. So that gives us an opportunity if we get better diagnostic tools to recognize who's at risk, who's beginning to develop this process, who, who might develop it, and then intervene. And I think we uh, now have the tools to start doing that, and this appropriation will help. The good news is uh, we've entered the modern era, uh, scientific era in the fight against Alzheimer's disease, using the latest uh, uh, biotechnology tools. The task is great. This is not going to be an easy disease to defeat. Prevention and early detection are key. Uh, we have some ambitious goals. Um, that we, as part uh, of, a, of a larger network of researchers, we hope to uh, have a new treatment, help develop a new treatment for Alzheimer's disease that's FDA approved in the next two years. We hope within five years we'll have a, a treatment that will actually slow the progression of the disease. And in 10 years, we hope to be able to diagnose early enough that we actually can prevent Alzheimer's disease or stop it in its tracks. Actually, both of you could come up and say a few words if you like. Uh, All I can say is that this is the best thing I can be in right now. And, uh, I'm retired. Um, I can come to the sessions. I can get the infusions, the other the PET scans, and other things. And um, we're going to fight it. We're going to win.